Hey, welcome back. Now I'm going to do a demo. I call this dry ice pucks and momentum. Basically what it is, is I'll show you here. Uh, it's these uh, round metal um, pucks and then we have a bottle connected to them. And the idea is if this, if I put dry ice in here, the dry ice will give off a lot of gases and then I'll close off the top and then the, the gas will come through the, uh, the bottom. There's a little hole. So it will create the gas and it will create a frictionless surface over which, uh, you know, I could put this over the table and then this will glide. And then I can do some good momentum collision problems and analyze what happens when two objects collide with each other. I have two of them like this. So I'm going to be placing the dry ice in both of them and then show you guys some different kinds of collisions we can analyze. So this is a pretty good, pretty cool demo that we can um, analyze um, uh, momentum in uh, momentum collisions in two dimensions, okay? Okay, as you guys can see here, I've put about a quarter full of dry ice in each bottle, right? And then now I'm going to add water. Uh, I'm going to add water to this. And then as we learn in physics and chemistry, the dry ice has a property where at standard pressure temperature, well, the, the dry ice turns immediately from solid to gas. It doesn't turn into liquid, right? So it just basically goes directly from the, the solid state to the, uh, the gaseous state. If I, can, um, if I can speed up that process by adding water, the gas will come out from the bottom and some of it will come up through the top and then it will glide over the table a lot more easily. This is a cool demonstration you can do, right? We can collide these together. You can collide them and you can see that they go at different angles. If you go directly, they would bounce back. That kind of fun stuff could happen. You can blow things up. We've created a situation where the dry ice is turning to gas. And uh, in order for this to work better, you have to have a cap here that is really, really strong so it won't pop out. You can see here when I did it, the, the, the cap popped up sometimes, so I had to be careful. So add a little bit of water, close the cap really well, and then send them along. And then investigate the nature of uh, two-dimensional collisions. Uh, the different kinds of things that you can learn from this lab, you can learn, it's a fun lab for uh, everyone to enjoy a little bit of dry ice. You can learn that dry ice turns directly from solid to gas. Okay, and you can do investigations of different kinds of two-dimensional collisions. You can have the pucks going in the same direction, right? Uh, if they are headed straight um, in their center of mass, one of them uh, might collide back, the other one might uh, go forward, right? And if they're a little bit off center of mass, one of them might come like this, go like this, and then if this one is headed this way, then this one is going to head this way, this one is going to head that way, right? And you can investigate head-on collisions, where they come and uh, hit each other. One is coming this way, the other one is coming this way, and then one of them goes this way, and, the, and then the other one goes this way, right? And you can kind of see how difference, what kind of difference it makes, whether they're headed toward each other on the angle of their on their final angles. Are their final angles larger when they uh, come towards each other or are their final angles smaller when they're headed in the same direction? Make a hypothesis and uh, do several experiments headed toward each other or heading in the same direction. When is the angle the largest? Okay, so you can have a lot of good fun with this and you can also try different degrees of separation from their center of mass. You can have straight head-on, you can have slightly, slightly head-on, like, uh, like this, maybe one centimeter. So the center of mass of this could be one centimeter away from the center of mass of the other one. Then you could do two centimeters. So that means from the edge, one, the edge of one to the other, and the center of mass of one to the center of mass of the other, it could be two centimeters, one centimeter, head-on, and three centimeters and so on. And then investigate, okay, when do their angles, uh, what are their angles equal to when they separate, right? In the one centimeter case versus the two centimeter case versus the three centimeter case. And then you can make the, the most you can make is kind of like 
just barely glancing collision where this comes like this and then this comes like this, right? We would expect that the angle should be really large. Go like this and then go like this. So you can try head on and you can try in the same direction and then change their center of mass from each other, right? The dry ice is still going right here. It's still fizzing, and, but it's really, really powerful. So you need a bottle, you need a cap that is very, very strong, okay? You know, for the most of the gas to go from the, the bottom so that it can glide really, really nicely, okay? Thank you very much.